And some breaking news, a small plane landed at O'Hare tonight without some of its landing gear. A tire may have actually landed on the roof of a nearby home. WGN's Patrick Elwood joins us now with the latest from Jefferson Park. Patrick. Mike and Ray, it definitely landed on that roof. Quite an unusual set of circumstances happening here on the northwest side of the city. But here's what we can tell you at this hour, at this time. Single engine plane landing at O'Hare at about 6.20 this evening, missing a tire and rim. A plane flying in from Ironwood, Michigan. Seven people aboard. All of this info coming from the FAA. CFD and the Department of Aviation officials. O'Hare was on standby, emergency standby, awaiting that landing. Uh, that wheel fell off on final approach to uh, the runway 28C, as you can imagine, throwing off a lot of sparks. Can you imagine the fear of the people on board there? That left uh, was the, the gear was from the left, left side of the plane. So that tire and rim landed on the roof of a home in the 5500 block of West Leland. Police were out here processing the evidence, bagging up the evidence, and that flight was a small plane, a commercial flight that is part of the essential air service. Having said all of that, let's hear from the homeowner. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was in my house. I checked the basement. I really didn't look outside. She calls me and she says, they're all by your house. Wow. So he said, there's a tire. How did that tire get there? So everybody on board the plane is okay physically, emotionally. I'm sure they're pretty uh, shaken up. Everybody inside the home is okay. The FAA and NTSB will investigate how in the world this plane, this rim and tire came off of this plane. Reporting from the Jefferson Park neighborhood, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Patrick. Wow.